names of the five victims shot and killed inside the Molson Coors plant in Milwaukee. That's where an employee opened fire yesterday afternoon on his co-workers. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live in Wisconsin this morning with the latest mass shooting in America. Good morning. Aaron and Ryan, good morning. I can tell you that all is quiet outside this plant this morning, but everyone's mind is focusing on this deadly rampage, a rampage one employee went on. Now, investigators here in Milwaukee confirmed the shooter is a 51-year-old man. He came to work and killed five of his co-workers. The victims have not been identified as of this morning. However, we do know family of the victims are en route here to Milwaukee, some coming from across the country. But as this blue-collar city and the rest of the nation comes to grip with yet another workplace shooting. The mayor of Milwaukee encouraging people to reflect on the innocent victims. They thought they were going to go to work, finish their day, and return to their families. They didn't, and tragically, they never will. Please keep in your prayers these individuals who lost their lives. Now, this plant will remain closed for the rest of the week because you have to keep in mind that many of the workers, they were in a lockdown mode for several hours. And this morning, those workers, not to mention the people in this community, they're just simply trying to wrap their minds around what happened here. For now, reporting live in Milwaukee, Andrina, I'm going to send it back to you in Chicago. Jermont, thanks for those updates. Such heavy hearts, not only there in Milwaukee, but across the country this morning. People really rallying around the city. The hashtag Milwaukee Strong is now trending on Twitter. If we take a look at what we're seeing on our tag board, just so many posts coming in from not only there in the city, across the country here. One person writing, no matter where it happens, it hurts. This was five minutes from home in a place I used to work. My heart breaks for everyone impacted in the senseless violence. We have custard companies saying our hearts and prayers are with them, Milwaukee strong again, something we're seeing over and over again. The Green Bay Airport saying our thoughts are with, with our Wisconsin neighbors. Today, we are expected to hear the names of the victims. And as the mayor said, we want to focus on them. 